I'm Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego, and today's video I'm going to be talking about why you need to be having consultations with your potential photographers prior to choosing which one you want to hire. When you're searching for photographers, you're probably going to be figuring out which one you want to hire based on what their photos look like and how much they cost. But there is another incredibly important factor that you need to be considering when hiring photographers and that is how well you connect with them. And the only way you're gonna figure that out is by having a consultation with them, whether it is on the phone, over a video chat, or in person. And I definitely wanna stress how important this is because if you are only hiring a photographer over email, you are never going to know how well you're gonna connect with them. And then on the wedding day, when they just show up and you meet them for the first time, whether or not you're gonna be comfortable with them, that you're not gonna know until the wedding day itself. And this can extremely impact your photos. So on the wedding day itself, if you do not feel comfortable with your wedding day photographer, you are going to be more stiff in your photos, you're not gonna come out of your shell, and if you are somebody who already does not feel that comfortable in front of the camera, this is going to be absolutely huge. You are not going to feel comfortable and that is going to be a lot more visible in your photos. You're not going to feel loose. You're not going to feel comfortable. You're not going to feel like you can really be relaxed in front of the camera. And trust me when I say this is a big deal. So many of my clients tell me that they are not that comfortable in front of the camera. And when I meet with them uh, like in person or over the phone, this is something they tell me and I tell them that I'm going to take care of them. We build a rapport over the phone and they and when I show up to meet them on their engagement session, we chat before we even start taking photos and they already start to loosen up. And then we do a lot of different things during the engagement session to get them comfortable with me and it immediately just starts to click. And then during that engagement session, we really work together to get them comfortable and it is just magic. And then on the wedding day, they are immediately at ease with me and I don't have to work at all to get them to be comfortable in front of the camera. It is just easy, smooth sailing. And that is just the nicest thing in the world for my clients. They don't have to worry about how they're gonna look in their photos based off of their comfort level because they're already so comfortable because they already got to know me. It wasn't a surprise. I didn't show up to meet them for the first time on the wedding day. We didn't have to spend any time getting to know each other. They already knew right off the bat that they could trust me because we had already connected. They would not have known how they'd feel with me if they had not connected with me over the phone. If they had only connected with me over email, we would not have known if we would get along, if we would feel like friends on the wedding day. So trust me when I say that this is so important. So obviously you need to make sure before you start having phone calls with vendors that they are going to be within your price range. And if you have a couple of photographers and they're maybe a couple hundred dollars apart, don't write off the one that's a couple hundred dollars more. If that's like close enough within your budget, still within your range, definitely make sure to talk to all the ones whose photos you love, talk to maybe three to four photographers over the phone or in video or in person, whatever it is that they offer, schedule those consultations. And if you're like, Kevin, I hate being on the phone. I'm really shy about it. Trust me when I say that this is something you just have to do. It's got to be worth it. Like if you need to have a little glass of wine beforehand, do that. Do whatever it takes. Go on a walk before, like hold your partner's hand. I don't know what it takes to get you on the phone, but do whatever it takes because this is extremely important. These are your wedding day photos. Like it is worth getting on the phone to make sure that you connect and you click and you feel like you could be friends with this person because this is a big deal. And I bet if you're watching this video, you care enough about your photos to make it worth having a phone conversation with your potential wedding day photographers. Now, if you're like, what do I talk about on this phone conversation? Trust me when I say that you do not need to Google those list of 50 questions to ask your wedding photographers. Don't get bogged down in all those technical questions about what to ask them about their cameras. Like, that is just ridiculous. You don't need to ask all those questions. Just connect with them. Ask them the things that you're actually curious about, like their process or what inspires them. Anything that you are actually 
genuinely interested to know, ask them. If you're not sure what to ask them, be like, hey, what should I be asking you? Something like that. Or if you just want to get to know them, ask them about their life. Like, what do they like to do for fun? Or where did they grow up? Or what their process is like? What inspires them? You can literally ask them anything. The whole point of this is to connect and to see how well you vibe with them. It's literally that simple. Just focus on connecting with them like you would a normal friend. Like, get to know them, see if you vibe with them. If you're not clicking with them, then maybe they're not the right photographer for you. Ask yourself, do I feel like I trust this person to take my wedding photos? Do I think that I would feel relaxed with this person? It all comes down to how well you click with them. So if you feel like you would be at ease with them on the wedding day and you wouldn't be worried about how well they would be photographing you, then that can totally be your photographer. So after you've had a couple of these like consultations, ask yourself, who do I vibe with the best? The best. If maybe there's a photographer who is the same price as another photographer, but you vibed with one a little bit better, go with that person. If maybe there's one who cost a little bit more, but you actually clicked with them the best, then go with that person if they're still within your budget range. It's all about who you feel most connected to. That is what is extremely important because you're gonna be spending like eight hours with this person. You are with your photographer more than any other vendor on the wedding day. And maybe your videographer too, if you have them, but your photographer pretty much leads you through the wedding day. They're with you when you're getting ready. They're with you when you're taking portraits. When you're at your ceremony, they're behind the scenes. But then after your ceremony, when you're back to portraits, they're with you. They spend the most time with you out of any vendor on the actual wedding day. That is why it's so important that you actually really like them. So go with the person who makes you feel most at ease. And that is what's going to make you feel the most comfortable throughout the entire process. So it's also really important that you have consultations with other vendors who you're going to be spending a lot of time with. I've already mentioned videographers, but also your wedding planner. So they're somebody that you're going to spend a lot of time with before the wedding and then little bits of the wedding day too. So I would also recommend having consultations with your planner because before the wedding day, you're going to be spending a lot of time with them, whether in person or virtual, depending on the level of service that you book them for. So if they're a full service planner, you're going to spend so much time with them month of a little less time day of coordinator, uh, not so much time, but definitely a lot of time compared to maybe like your rental vendors. So those are the kinds of vendors that you're going to want to have consultations with over the phone. Some other vendors, maybe you can just email like your cake vendor. Maybe you don't have to like click with them so much because you're not going to be around them. But it's really important to make sure that you feel comfortable with those vendors that you're going to be around all day on your wedding day because you want it to feel like your friends, not like there's some stranger that you just randomly hired for your wedding day. Because again, you want to feel at ease. You don't want to be worried about anything on your wedding day. And if you're around somebody who you don't really feel that comfortable with or you don't feel like you click with them, that's not good. So anyways, I hope that this inspires you guys to make those appointments with those potential vendors because it is really important and it will make a huge difference on your wedding day. And I promise it's so worth it. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.